So I'd like to tell a little story about the heart brain. The heart brain. In our culture, in our language, the words heart and brain don't really reference an anatomical thing. Your heart represents, it's, they're like symbols. And often those symbols are at odds with each other. You know, if I only had a brain, you, you know that song. So what's the reality anatomically as a, as a counterpoint to the separation of our symbols of heart and brain in our culture? Well, anatomy tells a very different story because if we kind of drill down on the branching of the heart in its relationship to the brain, we really have a, a, a heart brain. Look, here's the beautiful aortic arch, right? Coming out of the left ventricle and the pulmonary trunks here off to the lung. But look, our carotid arteries branch up here and the internal carotid artery comes snaking through your skull. Literally, it's beautiful. It's like this little crawling thing. And then the vertebral arteries, which branch off the subclavian arteries here, the vertebral arteries are also coming up. So we have these four great channels of blood. The vertebral arteries merge into the basilar, meet up through anastomoses with the internal carotid artery, creating a, a little circle of life in there called the circle of Willis. And then it just branches and branches. And we have anterior and posterior and superior and middle cerebral arteries, all carefully documented here in my drawing. Okay, that's a joke. And then, <laughs> and then literally, it's as if your entire, it's like these arms, these hands of the heart have come up and they're wrapping your head. And as they beat, boom, 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 Right? The beating of the heart is literally like a, a beautiful massage of your brain into your brain. And if you allow yourself to feel that for a minute, just to imagine it, the, the pulsation of your heart embracing and wrapping and caressing your brain, it's just a beautiful thing. And it goes both ways. So this basilar artery is running along your, uh, your, your, your midbrain your, and your spinal cord here. And the spinal cord is coming down. Of course, the depths are different. And there are branches coming off of here, a little sympathetic, off the sympathetic trunks here. And there are ganglion here. And those are going to the heart. And the vagus nerve, I mentioned in another video, is coming down and it's branching and branching all over here on the right side, on the, I'm sorry, on the left side. And on the right side, although most of it goes behind, it also comes in here as it's sneaking behind the heart and goes to the SA node, the sinoatrial node. And over here we have baroreceptors on the aorta. And there's an infiltration from these things such that the heart is being embraced back by the brain. It's a, it's a hug. There's a hugging happening between your heart and the brain, the vasculature embracing the brain, the brain infiltrating, infiltrating and caressing and, and, and uh, joining with our hearts so that there is no separation as there are with our symbols where we could have a difference between one and the other. What we have, in fact, is a gorgeous, complex, unified expression of that original embryo differentiated into these spectacularly beautiful and sophisticated organs which exist in mutual concert and relationship and which can actually achieve a kind of level of coherence in their relationship that's ecstatic. I wish that for you, the heart, brain. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.